The glamorous facade of Montecito, where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reside, seems to be hiding deeper issues behind the closed doors of their mansion. According to sources close to the couple, tensions have escalated, leading to heated arguments, emotional breakdowns, and reportedly Meghan pleading for Harry to come home. And despite presenting a unified front in public, it seems the Sussexes' relationships being tested in ways that fans and the public might not expect. One key event highlighting the strain was Harry's recent solo trip to South Africa. While many questioned why Meghan didn't accompany him, it appears the reason goes beyond a simple scheduling conflict. Meghan reportedly chose not to go because the trip was focused on Harry's personal projects, specifically his desire to establish a charitable base in Africa, a location that holds sentimental value for him. According to insiders, Meghan didn't feel the need to be part of this endeavour, given her desire for more glamorous surroundings and a lifestyle centred around luxury and social status. For Harry, Africa represents peace, freedom and a connection to nature, a place where he can escape from the pressures of public life. It's also where he and Meghan first bonded, with the relationship taking off after a romantic getaway there. However, over the years, Meghan's priorities seem to have shifted. While Harry continues to dream of establishing a life in Africa, Meghan reportedly prefers staying close to the glitzy life in Montecito, or exploring other luxurious destinations like Portugal, where the couple are rumoured to be considering a new home. The tension doesn't end with geographical differences. Meghan and Harry's public image is another point of contention. Meghan recently faced scrutiny from The Hollywood Reporter, with claims painting her as a demanding and difficult boss. These accusations reportedly supported by signed affidavits from former and current staff left Meghan devastated. She expected Harry to come to a defence publicly to dismiss the diva duchess narrative circulating in the media. However, Harry's approach was more laid back. He believed that ignoring the negative press would allow it to blow over, and that engaging with the accusations would only add fuel to the fire. Meghan, on the other hand, was reportedly hurt by Harry's reluctance to stand up for her. She believed that as a husband and partner, Harry had the power and platform to change the narrative. This conflict became a source of significant distress for Meghan, leaving her in tears. Adding to her frustration, Harry suggested that a high-profile representation with William Morris and Dever should have handled the situation better, which further strained their dynamic. With Harry spending more time on his personal projects and Meghan focusing on maintaining her image and Hollywood connections, it seems the couple's working more independently than ever. While Harry remains passionate about creating a base in Africa, Meghan appears uninterested in moving to a remote location far from the spotlight. Instead, she favours a lifestyle that keeps her close to places like Rodeo Drive, where luxury and fame are part of everyday life. The couple's disagreements have reportedly led to emotional outbursts behind closed doors. Meghan, feeling unsupported and increasingly distant from Harry's vision of the future, is said to have pleaded with him to spend more time at home in Montecito, away from his Africa-based ambitions. Harry, while deeply in love with his wife, seems torn between his desire for a simpler life and Meghan's preference for a more high-profile existence. Although rumours are swirling about the relationship being on the rocks, close friends of Harry claim that he's happier than ever, despite the current turbulence. Meghan, however, is reportedly more focused on securing the future in a location that aligns with her lifestyle, which may include the purchase of a new home in Portugal. But until they find common ground, it seems that the marriage is going through a rocky phase marked by disagreements, emotional pleas and divergent visions for the future.